Hello, good morning, everyone. Are you able to hear my voice? Yes, my voice is audible to everyone. Start the session in few minutes because few still people has to join.
Good morning, everyone. Can you able to hear me? My voice is audible to everyone. Let's start with the session today. So, do you remember on Saturday session what we discussed? What we have discussed on Saturday? Anybody can write it in the chat. Don't please unmute your mic. Just you can write it in the chat. I'm seeing the chat. Yes, we discussed what permissions. So, in the permission, how many types of permission we discussed? Two types of permission, yes, security level and shared level. So what was the difference? Like security permission is applied on a individual machine. Yes, whatever permission you applied, security permission on a particular machine, that permission will be existing on that machine. And we discussed if you want to do the sharing throughout our entire domain or network, then we'll use what shared level permission. In that we discussed how we can create a share folder, how we can give the path to the network as well as drive letter, and we, we discussed also how to add the share folder, and then we last finally discussed AV through which we can share certain file and also same time we can restrict any particular file which is confidential for us. So that was our Saturday session. Yes, clear with that. Response. Okay. So today our session will be about what profiles. So do you need, uh, do you know what do you mean by profile? If anybody knows, please write it in the chat now. Okay. okay I'll try to repeat once more. I ask. Anybody knows what is meant by profile? You can just write it in the chat. Profiles means what? We come across this word quite often, no? Profile, profile. So what do you mean by profiles? User profile, anything. Own specific configuration, you are mean to say. Anybody else? Like say suppose somebody asks you what is your profile, then what you will mention? What you will say? Like somebody asks you what is your profile, what you will say? Uh, all detail. Whose detail? Yes, re user related. Are our related information yes so same way when we talk about the profiles here it means what user personal settings so in simple word profile means what user personal settings okay so when we talk about our personal information we'll have certain information which may be unique not related with others something will be common but something will be unique the same way when we talk about the profiles so once a user is logged in, some profiles will be generated. So that is what called user personal settings or user profile. So did you understood by this? Let us discuss what is meant by profile and how many types of profiles we have. A profile is a what? User state environment. So whenever we talk about the user settings. By default, these folders will be created once the user is logged in. That is what called user personal settings or user personal profile. So when a user log in into the machine, these folders will be created default, like document, desktop, start menu icon, shortcut, application, downloads, pictures, the list you can see on my screen. So these are called what? Personal settings, personal profile. So who will create this? This will be created default once a user logs in. 
So this profile will be same for everybody or this profile should be different for all the uh, different people. And have your answer. Everybody profile will be same or it will be different. Suppose I'm getting the mixed answer. So just uh, assume in your family, somebody ask your profile and your brother or somebody. So the profile will be same or it will be different. Different, that's what. So whenever a user login, their own profile will be created. So each user profile will be different compared to the other user. Did you understood? The profile won't be same for different users. Like our profile compared to the other person is different. Something may match, but at least something will be unique. The same way, whenever user login, this profile should be generated. So for each user, this profile will be different. This profile will be created once the user is logging. Remember. Okay. Okay. Out of this name, at least you can remember a few commonly used names like documents, desktop. Once a user login, their own profile will be created and each profile will be different of the user compared to the other user. Okay, understood this? The profile means now what you know? The user setting, personal setting. Who will create these icons or the folders? Once a user login, it will be created default. So each user personal settings will be different compared to the other user. Yes. So let us see here how many types of profiles we have. We have two types of profiles that can be categorized as local profiles and roaming profiles. So we need to discuss today both these profiles. So first let us start with what? Local profile. So as the name indicates, local profile means will create this local profile so you can see the definition here so local profile means what it's a personal user settings or personal user profile which will be created first time whenever user login into the machine and this profile will be stored in a local hard disk machine of that system so it means what a personal settings will be created once a user login into the first time and that settings will be existing in that machine in which he has logged in. Now, if suppose same user log into the other machine, then what happens? Same profile will be again created or it will be default profile which was logged in the other machine. Yes, again, new profile will be created. So once a user is using same machine, first time he log in, you will get a profile next day or next time when that same user log in into the same machine same profile will be there new profile not be created only it will be created once you log in first time now suppose that same user log out and the other person has logged in into the same machine then for the other user same profile will be there or different profile will be created for the new user or the other user I got again same answer. No, it cannot be seen. Different user means different profile will be created. Machine will be same, but different profile will be so to make you understand, let us just take an example here. Suppose we are discussing here what local profile. So do you have in the organization a single user or multiple user? Multiple user. And same way, do you have only single machine or the multiple machines? Yes, compulsory will have multiple machines, multiple users. Now let's set up for a scenario. This is for the local profile. So this is suppose some machine here, which is free. So as a user one, I logged in. Here. So once I logged in, my profile will be created. Like I just now we discussed, different folders will be created. Easy to remember is what desktop download. So 
this type of folders will be created about like 12 folders so this is personal setting now he returns some data in the c drive and his shift is completed so he has logged out his personal profile is created now that same user next day came and again he logged in same user you remember same user has logged in on the next day now his profile will be changed or the same profile will be there or new profile will be created for the same user on same machine next day he log in same profile will be existing a new profile will be created i got some replies like same profile anybody have different opinion yes that is correct see once a user login first time his profile will be created and this profile will be there in this machine and this will be stored in the hard disk of this machine so next time when he log in might be next day or after any number of days same profile will be existing this data will be saved in the local hard disk until it has been deleted now imagine the same machine other user has logged in let's say suppose the next user user two has logged in. after the user one has logged out now same profile will be created or this user two this is a different okay. user so same profile will be there or different profile will be created yes different profile will be created because the user is different so for this user different profile will be created on the same machine you remember now once he logged in again that same folders will be created that will be different now suppose for you one desktop will be generated for you two also will be. But for you, the desktop will be what? Desktop for the user. For the user too, the desktop will be not same. Desktop will be what? Desktop for the user. Mute your mics. Please don't unmute your mic now. Now, we were discussing what now for the second user, once he logged in, again, this same folders will be created, but these folders will be different compared to the other user. You remember, this is what called local profile. So the desktop of the user one will be different compared to the desktop of the user two. Like this, once a user is logged in, a profile will be created. So that profile is called local profile. Now, another user login means on same machine. Then again, same folder, same profile will be created, but that profile will be different compared to the other user. That's what it's called as the local profile. Now let let us take another machine here now user one has logged in this is may suppose system one this is system two. now next day or after some days the user one did not got the same machine he got another machine now he logged in to the other machine because we cannot expect to get same machine every day yeah so now he logged into the this machine now what happens is old profile will be transferred here or a new profile will be generated for him yes this is a new machine so once a user logged into the new machine so for that user new profile will be created again a new profile will be created because he's logging into the new machine first time so once a user log in first time into any new machine then his profile will be new profile will be created so suppose whatever data he has written as a user one will appear on this the other machine which is trying to use now whatever data he has written on this let's say suppose on system one he has written some data the same data will be appearing once he log into the other machine it will appear or it will not appear yes it will not appear so with the local profile some advantage is also there some disadvantage is also there. Like what is the advantage you have? 
what is the advantage you have? Like take one simple example, then you will get a clarity. So let's say suppose some idea you got now. Now we'll discuss from the beginning. Now so suppose. Uh, this is one of the machine here in the organization. Now, as a user one, I logged in and I created the data for the company. Let's suppose in the C drive. I created my data for the company in the C drive. My shift is completed. I logged out. Now, another user after my shift came on the same machine. Let's suppose user two. Now, my question is, can you able to see the data what I have written on the C drive? Can you open the C drive? Because the data is stored locally. So now, same drive he can see. So the data of the user one, which has written on the C drive, will be available to the user two or not? Yes. Can I have your opinion or answers? It will be available or it the user two cannot see the user one data which is written on the C drive. Yes, yes, it's available. You can see that. So this is an advantage or disadvantage, you tell me. Yes, disadvantage. Because the users are writing the data not personally, but for the company. But you don't want the user one user data to be seen by the other user, isn't it? Just to prove this, I will log in as a domain user in one machine from the two different users, and I'll try to see same data is available or not. So let us see here practically. I have two users. Already we discussed that in the other session, how to create the domain users. So this is my domain machine you can find. How do you check your domain machine? Yes, we can go to the command prompt. Yeah, this is one by one of machine. So I'm going to the command prompt. I typed here what? Net space accounts. So what will be displaying here as the computer role? Primary. So it means what? It is my DC machine. So already some users have been created domain users. You can find here. I have three users, domain users. So domain users means they can log in from any machine. So now I have another machine here. Uh, I'll try to log in with any one of the user, like I have there the user U1, U2, U3. So let me log in with U1. Trying to log in with the U1. Just a minute, I'll check. This is my another machine. Here, I need to disable the firewall. Let 
we try to log in with the domain user. Not logging, just give me a name. Client machine. the settings in the server also. Let me try to log in. machine as a domain user In the DC, I have some users here. Let's go. What are the users I have? The DC. Users will be there in which console? Domain users? ADUC console. I'm just checking it. So these are the users I have available. So let us try to log in these users into from the other machine so that the profile will be created. Trying to log in with one of the users is a possibility. Just is missing. So I need to just take it into the work group and again join into the domain. So I'll log in as an administrator now. Client machine, it is not the user is not able to log in. So just change it back from the work group or oh sorry, domain model to the work group, then again join it. Just give me a minute, I'll just wait. And the client machine. Changing it back to the domain model, sorry, work group model from the domain model. Because the users are not able to log in. Well, it has changed into what? The work group. I'll join this machine into the domain again. So 
that we can able to log in from the domain user and the profile will be generated. My same machine. I'll make this machine part of my domain by joining into the domain. Yeah, it is in work group. I'll change it to the domain now. How to change you know. Our domain is created with what name? Bloomberg. Again, join into the domain. Just try to log in with one of the domain users. Like we have three users in the DC. Let me log in with one of the domain users. I am trying to log in with YouTube. Now the user can able to log in. Yes. So he is logging first time. Now what happens? Personal settings will be created. But how to get the icons now? We already discussed. Go to the search. Type it what? Icons. Click on the settings. And show the show the icon. So now whichever icons we need, we just need to check it. We got the icon. Now which user is logged in? His profile is created. But the user is writing the data, suppose, in his uh, C drive. Let me open. Now he has written some data in the C drive. This is U1 data. So it's created one folder with his name, U1. Now he created some data. Let's say suppose he created this data for the company. Let us assume this file. So he created this. He created something like this. Now his shift is completed, he logged out. Now on the same machine, U3 has logged in, another domain user. Now our question is, can he able to see the data of the U2? So let me get the icons for this user also. Let me get the icons. Can you see the icons? Now, which user is logged in to the same machine? U3. Now, he opened the C drive. Now, you can find here U1 data. Yes, can you able to see the other user file? Yes. So now, as a security concern, it is good to see one user data by the other user? No. Now, this user U1 is saying to you, when I'm writing the data, others are able to see it. But I want that my data should not be seen by the others. They may use the same machine, no problem. But what data I write, I should not be seen by others. Now, the same scenario is given to you by the management as the administrator to you. So what you'll do now to overcome this problem? 
can you tell me what is the solution for this issue yes, what is the solution you are, imagine you are an administrator now you are facing this problem the user saying the one user data should not be used uh, should not be seen by others i got one answer that assign some user passport that is the answer i was expecting and I, this is the solution easiest and simple solution just one thing you have to do as an administrator just ask the user to write their data on their personal setting don't write the data in the drive so once we log in as a user our personal settings will be created so we should write our data in our personal settings that's it so you ask the user to run in one of the folders which will be created as a personal setting once we log in into the u machine first time easiest is what desktop so ask the user to write the data in his desktop instead of c drive that is what called the local profile so now i will do as a u2 now same thing now i log out from the u1 try to log out from the user 3 and i'll try to log in with user 2 again now previously this user has written the data on the c drive users are not getting try to log in with the user. Now the user two has logged in. Now instead of writing the data on the C drive, administrator asked him to write the data on his personal setting, like his desktop. Now he has created his data. Now today not on the C drive, but on the desktop. Suppose now he returned the data like here. Here. He created a folder with U1 name. Now inside that, he created some file. We 
create some file now he created his file with what name u1 file and he returned some data on the desktop remember now he created something now imagine this is the data he created for the company for today and his shift is completed and he logged out now on the same machine the other user has logged in which user now imagine u3 now can the u3 see u3 can see the data of the u1 sorry u2 can you see no he's getting his own personal desktop machine is same but users are different means different profile will be created so now he cannot see so the user data remain safe safe that is the simplest solution you can have for this problem so did you understood so i hope that you understood what do you mean by local profile yes the same thing is there here uh, user profile is created first time when you log into the computer and it is stored on the computer local hard disk any changes you made that will be remaining specific to that machine on we on which you made the changes so previously the local profile used to be document setting but now we have the local profile where it is there in the windows c drive in the c drive you have what folders with a name called user here the user data will be stored previously it used to be document and set so now what is the advantage with the local profile tell me yes anybody i shown you practically also no user profile so what is the advantage you find with the local profile no answer hmm. so what is the advantage with that you are getting your own profile so what is the advantage with that just now i demonstrated with the practical no Yes, that is the answer. Security. Now, user's data will remain secure. So no user can see the other user data, even though if they are using the same machine. Yes, that is the advantage with the local profile. Now you have to remember who will create this local profile. Who will create the local profile? No user no itself it will be created to the operating system once the user login default it will be created it won't be created by user or it won't be created by admin it will be created default once the user login first time now any problem is there with the local profile tell me advantage we have discussed now let us try to go into the disadvantage is there any disadvantage or no disadvantage I got yes. Means what should I understand? Does disadvantage is there or no disadvantage? Disadvantage. What might be there? We'll discuss that. But if you have any idea or suggestion, you just write it. Yes, that's it. So if I get a same machine, no problem. But when you are working in a live environment do you expect to get same machine every day by chance you may get one or two days but so suppose on the third day or some other day if i don't get a same machine what happens uh, user one log into the other machine so he is won't able to see his own data so he has written something now so he want that as a reference to do the work next day so can you see his own data what is written can't see. That is the problem with the local profile. Now, how do you overcome this problem? What is the remedy for this issue? There is any solution is there or there is no solution? Shared. I didn't understand after that what you mean to say shared. Yes, it means now some of you are very active and you understood to decide. So that's we have to do roaming profile next so to overcome the problem of the local profile we can use the roaming profile 
I hope that you got the soft copy for the practical. So if anybody is not got after the session, just give me your mail ID or your WhatsApp number. I'll be able to share it. So while the session is going on, somebody called me. I cannot reply because I got a call from one person, but I cannot reply. That's why I just declined the call. Once you have any issue after the session is completed, you can call me. Okay. So whatever we have discussed already, I shared the practical steps. So this is the practical steps we have. So today we discuss which topic. Profile. So I think most of the people have got the practical steps. the thing we discussed today as a practical you don't have to note it because i already shared it with uh, maximum people if any people person is missing you can just contact me after this so whatever i written same thing i did i log in with uh, two users in my case today i took two user to user three created first the data in the uh, c drive then the drive data can be seen by others so to overcome that problem, we have written the data in the personal settings of the user, like the desktop. So if you want to check your profile, you can just go to the control panel and in the search box, you type, just write what profile. Then you will get what configure advanced user profile in that you can able to see the user is using which profile, local profile or roaming profile. So the, what is the advantage with the local profile? Without doing anything, we can make one user data safe from the other user. Just they need to write their data on their personal side. That is the advantage. But the disadvantage is what same user, if he is using the other machine, then he can't see his own data because the data will not be carried forward. The data will be stored in the local hard disk of that machine. So to overcome that problem, we can have a solution in the form of what? Roaming profile. So what we have to discuss, uh, which one you want me to repeat, just tell me, I'll repeat it. Because I cannot report from the beginning of the session. I think you can understand that. So please tell me what, which point I should repeat, I'll repeat it. Please write it in the chat. Uh, last one, I said what, if a user is using same machine, there is no problem. Next day or some after some other day, uh, after some days or few days, if it's getting not same machine, he got a new machine. Let's uh, assume that the machine he was using is being used by some other user because in the company you will not have one user or one machine. So his use his machine which was used earlier was used by somebody else user. Now somebody uh, some other new machine is using today now. So whatever data he has returned in the Previous days in the previous machine, can he able to see by himself? Same user cannot see his own data because the data will not be carried forward in the local profile. The data will be stored in the local machine which he was used in. The local hard disk, the data will be saved. So, this is the problem with the local profile. Same user data will not be carried forward to the other machine. If he's using other machine, he can't see what he has written yesterday. Yes, the local profile data will be stored in a location called C drive users folder. Previously, it used to be document and settings. So, did you understood this? Is it okay? Anybody else have any other doubt? If the user write the data in their personal setting, no other user can see it. That is what I verified it. Like I took the example of U2 and written the data on the desktop of the U2. Can the U3, once I logged in, can able to see the data of the U2? No, that is the advantage. But disadvantage, now the user 2 got some other new machine next day. So when he use that new machine, his new profile will be created. So he can't see his own data, what he has written yesterday. That is the problem with local profile. I hope now you understood. Yes. So from there also, 
Also, you mean to say that you go there and find the users, uh, but still it won't be available because their desktops are different. So to overcome that problem, we can go with the roaming profile. Yes. So first thing you have to be clear about who will create the local profile. Tell me who will create the local profile. not create it will be created default itself but now when we talk about the roaming profile who create the room profile the roaming profile has to be created so who will create it yes user cannot create it only one user can create it who is that one user Is a part of drive but that is a personal setting so for each user you will get a desktop but their own desktop will be different compared to the other user that's why they cannot see okay now coming to the roaming profile who will create the roaming profile administrator so administrator will need to create the roaming profile and this roaming profile will be not stored on the local machine it will be stored on the server this server domain server or if you are maintaining file server separately connected with the domain machine it, the data will be stored there so what is the difference between local profile and roaming profile till now what you understood local profile will be created default whereas the roaming profile has to be created by administrator local profile will be create, stored on the local hard disk whereas the roaming profile will be stored on the server not on the local machine so what is the benefit with the roaming profile is that the user can use any machine still the data can be forward in entire domain the profile will be available on any machine anytime the user login within the domain this is that one so whatever changes you do in the local profile that will be limited to that particular machine hard disk but here the changes you made will be updated on the server so that's why you can able to access your own data with the security anytime from any machine within your domain and security is there with roaming profile one user cannot see the other user data because for each user a subfolder will be created so only they can access it. others cannot see it now tell me which is profile is better for us for security wise roaming profile or local profile which profile will be better roaming or local i think by mistake one person type local profile yes the answer is not the local profile roaming profile the roaming profile is better than local profile because the user can see their own data from any machine with the security one user cannot see other user data like same thing in the local profile but in the local profile the drawback is if the same user uses the other machine they cannot see their own data but here the user uses any machine in the entire domain they can see their own data others can't see the same user can see his own data from any machine because Roaming profile will be created by admin and the data and changes whatever has been there is related with server, not with the local machine. That's why you can access from anywhere. Okay. No roaming profile has to be created. It will won't be generated default as it happens with the local profile how to create roaming profile we'll see once it is created then the user's data you can access with security from anywhere it can be any name machine but provided that machine has to be a part of the domain means that machine has to be joined into the domain how to join we discussed no? just now i also shown you i was getting some problems so i just made my machine work group again i join in into the domain 
to the computer icon change setting from there you join that machine into the domain the machine which is a part of the domain in that roaming profiles have the advantage means once a domain user login from any machine which has been joined into the domain then the data is available from any machine i hope now it is clear to you so we'll proceed to the next part that is how to create a roaming profile roaming profile has to be created what is the advantage that user can access his same data from any machine so let us see here already i shared this practical step file just i'll go through it then i'll do the practical you can create uh, for the roaming profile one share folder we discussed the in the other session that is on saturday how to create a share folder again i'll repeat it how to create a share folder so here in example i have taken some other drive you can use the existing drive also c drive also it is not mandatory to use other drive you can use any other drive i'm taking the example of the e drive so i'll be creating one new folder with uh, what share folder permission read and write remember this folder should be empty then create the roaming profile so you should have some domain users so on that domain user right you right click and go to the pro, uh, profile tab then you can give the or you can create the roaming profile for that user okay understood so shall i do it with the practical so once the user writes the data in the roaming profile the data will be saved in the server hard disk once the user log out the same machine if the other user uses you can't see if that user writes the data in their roaming profile okay. can i show with the practical now yes paran what is your doubt when you didn't and understood can you just wait for the practical after that you can ask still if you have doubt persist okay. can i begin with the practicals after the practical still if you have a doubt you can ask can i go with the practical now this is my dc machine so i logged in here with the administrator so here i have some domain users i hope that there is no need to create again domain user you know how to create a domain user or shall i create a new domain user shall i create or can i or can i use the existing domain user okay no need okay fine so i have suppose three domain users u2 u3 u1 so i'll take same users u2 and u3 for roaming profile now so now roaming profile has to be created by the administrator so previously we just write the data as a user on our personal setting so that data was not available to other user but if he use the other machine he can't see his own data so now to overcome that profile so to overcome that problem i am using now roaming profile so roaming profile has to be created so how to create that let us see now so this is my dc machine you can see here i'll go to one of the drive how to create the drive i shown you the other day yes on saturday 
you partition with a, a drive i shown you two times now let me make this uh, drive empty so that you will not get a confusion what i'll do i'll format it whatever share folder we had removing mandatory just for to make you show uh, to make sure that you understand in a simple and easy way i'm just keeping it empty here my e drive is completely empty i'll create one folder you know how to create a folder so for roaming profile we are creating the folder so i'm creating a folder with some easy name like roaming you can use any name i'm using this name so this folder should be empty remember so now it is a just a normal folder so make it as a share folder how to do it i think you know it but still i repeat because on saturday we did two three times share folder again i'll do it you can do it from here or here also now here sharing share now i want to do the sharing with everyone with a permission call read write the share folder is created path is here this is called unc path yes we discuss on saturday then close so a share folder is created but it has be not become the roaming profile so we have to create the roaming profile so how to create the roaming profile is go to the user console where the users will be available in server manager console yes in the aduc console so go to the tools Open the ADUC console. Now select any one of the user to whom you want to create the local profile. Select that user. Right click properties. Now can you find here the tab called profile? Let's click on that. Now here we are creating the roaming profile. So the path is there. We have to write. So where the share folder is created, the UNC path. System one in my case. Slash my folder name. What is my folder name? Roaming. Then say what? Apply. Okay. So now this roaming profile is created for you. Which user? User one. Now the profile is been created. Now you can ask the user to write the data in the roaming profile. So now what will happen? I log out for the client machine and I'll log in for the user 2 for whom I created the roaming profile. Now please remember here I'll keep the data empty on the desktop. So now roaming profile is created. So in roaming profile you remember the user has to write the data in their personal setting folder only. Same like uh, local profile, but in the roaming profile, what is the difference happen is that the user can access his data from any machine because the data will be saved on the server in server where in the share folder. So now, but the user has to write the data in their personal setting, not from outside the personal setting. So now, what you have to do? I'll create the folder on my desktop as a user 2. Now user 2 is writing some data. Now he created some file here. He created some file here. something now the folder has been created through the roaming profile how do you check it now you go to the control panel go to 
the control panel. I put here what profile. You'll find here what configure advanced user profile. Uh, here what you are getting? Roaming. Status is what? Roaming. Now I need to do now once this user is logged out data will be saved it has to be saved in the server now go to the go to the our dc machine whatever data he is written on that machine need to be saved on share folder so that share folder is existing where in my DC machine. So in DC machine, which folder? Share folder. Now here, we didn't get any data because in the status it was showing roaming and local. So unless until we get both status as roaming and roaming, the data will not be saved. So what I need to do is to restart this machine, refresh it. That is the client name. Start it. Yeah, this is my DC machine ready. Ah, here, the data which I created in the system two has not appeared on the system one. See the status. I again I need to log in with U one. Sorry, U two. Let me check the status. Let me check the status. Go to the control panel. I put here what profile configure advanced user profile click on users not and still I'm getting here what the status should be what Romy not changed so here both you should show what roaming room then the data will be saved so for this what i need to do there is start only option Start. Let 
we log in again with that same user. Status. Has to be the status should be what please. Wait a minute. Once we get the status both roaming roaming, then the data will be stored on the server. DC is okay. Go to the user. Okay, who has login again? Let me create a new data. Delete this. create once again some data on the user profile setting and now we will log in with what and create a new folder like user2 then create something inside it saved it logged out go to the server and check the data came here or not if it is doesn't come uh, i'll just create a new user it may come sometime it may happen like this i came to my server come to the right folder the data is not available so what i'll do We create a new users in the server. It's not updating for that purpose. I'm just creating a new user. So how to create a new user? You know it. So again, I'll do it. So suppose this new user is created. Like I'm calling this as a 
like R1. I'm creating same the user without password so that easily I can log in. One user is created. R1. Let me create like this another user. So this is my another user. Let us create a profile for this user R1. Two users have been created. Select one of the user to create the profile. Go to this properties, the profile tab, and do the path. I created the share folder where same share folder I'm using in system one. The share folder name is what? Let me create the new share folder. One second. Users are created. Right. Let me create a new new folder. Any name, folder is created. Make it as a share folder. Go to properties, sharing, share, then with whom you want to share. Like, I want to share with everyone. Here, I'll select the option everyone. What is the permission I'm giving? Read write. Share. Then path is created. Sharing profile. Now create the profile. How to create the profile? Go to the user. Select that user. Like in my case R1, right click, properties, go to the tab, profile, do the path. What is the path here? Roaming for system 1. Then the folder name is what? Good thing. So which user we are giving this? R1. Then apply. Profile is created. Now let me log in with R1 now. Get the icons. Now let me create as the R1 some data on the user's personal setting. That is what any one of this folder, like I'm for easy understanding purpose on the desktop I'm creating. So this is R1 user data. So he created some file here. Now let me write something. Save it. Now let us check the status now. Go to the control panel. Type it here what profile. Click on configure advanced users. Now I got this here. Roaming room. Now the data will be reflected on the server. So I log out from the here user. I can see same data on the server. Okay, this data will be stored in the server in the share folder. But here the admin cannot open that data which the user has written. So to open this data, 
he has to become the owner of the file then he can see like we discussed yesterday how to become the owner of the file remove the inheritance and become the owner so this is the advantage with the roaming profile now the data is saved in the server now if suppose in the same machine user 2 or r2 login he cannot see the data but same thing happens with the room uh, local profile but what is the advantage if another machine the same user uses r1 he can able to see the data because he's saving the data on on server not on the local hard disk so any user can log in from any machine and they can see their own data from any machine with the help of roaming profile this is the advantage with roaming profile but do you have any disadvantage in the roaming profile yes what is the disadvantage anybody can say any disadvantage do you find with the roaming profile before i give the answers let me check answers shall i tell or shall i wait what you mean to say is there any change only admins changes means the user data is safe no security is there even admin cannot see unless until it become the owner not ourselves Ad, uh, administ creating the profile but security is there no now the user can log in from any machine and he can see his own data from any machine this is the advantage with the roaming profile but there is some disadvantage with the roaming profile what is the disadvantage is first of all if a network is small you may not feel, felt much problem but if suppose the imagine the network is large many users are there so and every day the data is created by the user is huge so when they this data will be saved once the user log out so when they log out and again when they log in from other machine to get their data it will fetch the detail from the user's local profile how many local profiles are there 12 so the user to save the data as well as to fetch the data once they log in will take a lot of time for the large network and second problem the user compulsory need to write their data in there in there yeah, more time it will take for log on and log out depending upon the size of the network first problem with the roaming profile second problem is that when they uh, use this roaming profile the user need to be compulsory remember that they need to write their data not on other folder only on their local folders on their local folders then only the data will be saved in their roaming profile in the server otherwise the data will not be saved in the server in the roaming profile the user compulsory need to log in from oh, sorry need to save the data in their local profile folders like i shown you around 12 folders in that only they need to write outside that folder if they write the data that then data will not be saved in the server this is a precautionary measure the user has to take it okay so first problem is what the time to fetch the data and to save the data will be more so the network will be or the user can log in and log out slowly depending upon the size of the network first problem with the roaming profile second problem is the user uh, when they saving the data need to remember that they need to write their data in their personal setting not outside the personal setting so this problem can be overcome by using what home folder so next we have to discuss what home folder the problem of the roaming profile you understood everybody okay so shall i go for the solution for the roaming profile problem that solution we can find in the form of what home folder so first problem network will be slow or login logout will be slow and the user has to remember the 
data need to be saved in their personal setting then only the data will be saved in the server in the uh, row, uh, what is called share folder i'll repeat once again there are two major problem with the roaming profile one is that if the network is large once this data is saved in the server share folder only when the user log out so log out when they log out if the network is large it will take some time for the user data to save so he has to wait and whenever he log in again it will take more time for the user to log in because it has to fetch the data by seeing from all the 12 roaming folder it will see and check it so that's why it will take more time and second problem is second problem is the user need to remember that they need to save their data in their personal folders like desktop download favorite music is outside that they cannot save the data too then only the data will be saved in the server share folder so this problem can be overcome by using what home folder so our next topic for today is what home folder is it okay so shall, can i go to the next topic like desktop you now there are some other folder downloads document favorite music like you have seen in that's like first 12 to 10 folders on the any one of those folder not only desktop you can use also the default folders user personal setting yeah okay so can we go to the next topic what is the next topic okay that is the home folder now the drawback of the roaming profile can be overcome by using what home folder so first thing is that here the user does not have to remember that they have to write the data in their personal setting folders because here the administrator will be creating one folder and directly he'll be giving that folder to the users in the form of one drive so the user can go to the drive and write the state data straight away they don't have to remember their folders only one folder that admin will provide in the form of drive in that the user writes their data so for each folder sorry for each user one subfolder will be created with their name and their data will be stored in that main folder and that data save will be saved in the server hard disk or in the server you can say sir, uh, file server the data will be stored so user can log in their data from any machine in the domain model and their data can be saved from any machine they don't have to write it in their personal setting folder so admin will give one single folder in that single folder everybody has to write their data in the network so for admin the task of taking the backup becomes very easy because everybody will write the data in one folder so if you once you take backup of that folder everybody data is stored backup is taken so it's very simple for administrator as well as for users they don't have to remember that folder they simply open that folder in the form of drive and they can write it this is the advantage another advantage for admin is what in roaming profile the admin cannot see the user data straight away but in the home folder concept the admin can see every user data by opening the home folder you don't have to become the owner of the file this is the advantages with the home folder so did you understood this so can i go with the home folder can i go to the home folder concept so now you can see whatever i said same thing you can find here the home folder is a centralized location of the users folder where all users data will be saved so for administrator it's become easy to take the backup from one location instead of checking all the different local files or local folders of the user. So whenever a user's login from any machine within the domain, the home folder will be available in the form of network drive. So that's why this home folder concept is also called as what network folder. Because it will be available in the entire network in the form of a single folder, in the form of a drive. 
that's why it is called network drive yeah did you understood the advantages with the home folder you mean to say you return you mean to create a roaming drive in roaming drive you, the concept is what the user has to write the data in their personal set but here the administrator will create one folder that fo to that folder only the users will write their entire data they will not write in their personal settings on the common folder which admin has created for all users on that he will create so that's why it is called a network drive so to every user or to all users a single folder will be available so the user don't have to write their data on their personal set just open that folder which admin has given to them in the form of a drive write the data so the data automatically saves in server the file server so you can see same thing in a presentation here now any user can log in from any machine so to create the network drive also admin has to create a share folder but he has to give that share folder in the form of a drive how to do i'll show you with a practical now any user can log in from any machine and the data immediately saves in the server so that they can use any machine any day same data will be available to the user but one user here also cannot see other user data because for each user one subfolder will be created inside this home folder taking the backup becomes easier and also the user does not have to remember they need to write their data or save their data in their personal set to the home folder concept i'm i'm clear to everybody so if uh, it is clear shall we go to the practical Now, let me do the practical for the home folder. So we can just, I'll just go through it. The file which I've sent you. Now, one point you may ask here. Now, for the roaming profile. If one user is there, means we are selecting one user. But I say, suppose I have multiple users. So do I need to do one by one? No. So if you have multiple users, select all multiple users. Then in the path, you just give this system name, your share folder name, and don't give the multiple user name. Just write here for multiple users what percentile user name for giving the path. So, did you understood the advantage of the roaming profile? For multiple users, we don't have to do individual. I shown you for one individual user. Go to that user, right click, profile tab. But for multiple user, first select those multiple user, then right click, then same procedure. So properties profile. Instead of giving the single username like we have given in the earlier case here, username R1, R U1, like this here. So we have given the name, no? So instead of that, what you have to do? Place of username, you just need to write for multiple user what percentile username. That's all. Shall we go for the home folder? Yeah, for home folder, which is also called as a network drive. First, create a folder as share folder with read write permission for everyone. Now, open the ADUC console for whom you want to give the roaming, oh, sorry, network. Folder. Select that user, same procedure. Right click, properties, select the property tab. But here we need to go to the home location and we have to give the path with a drive letter. Two things we have to do give the path and make a link of that path with a drive letter. So that drive will be appearing to the user. Now the user has to write the data only in that drive and the data immediately saves server hard disk in the form of what share folder 
this is the advantage with the home folder shall i do it here also if you have multiple users select the multiple user in place of this user individual name just write percentile username that's it remaining thing is same is it clear to everyone yes is it clear to everyone Can I go for the practical? I'll proceed with the practical now. Now here in the server, first I need to create a folder. So you already know how to create a folder. Still I repeat, so I'll be creating one folder any name for simplicity to remember i'm creating the home folder with a name called home but i repeat it is not necessary or essential to create this folder with this name you can use any name for simplicity i'm using this name so now this is a normal folder so you make it as a share folder so how do you make it as a share folder right click from here also you can do this here share with specific people or property then select here what everyone because you want to do through your network or entire domain then give them the privileges as per your requirement share done now a share folder is created now go to the users the users will be there in which console reduce console open that Now select suppose if you want to do for multiple users then select here select for one user or what i'll do select one user right click properties the file first i'm showing you it one user or i'll take a for easy understanding purpose for user one so that i'll create other user for multiple user one properties then the tab let's tap here the file now i'm giving you for the roaming profile we give the path here but for the home folder you see here the path is here now you give the path here what is the path here my system name and my share folder name is optional if you want to give the username you give it or it is not needed then connect the drive here you can give this share folder in the form of any drive because you are linking this folder with what one of the drive let me take this drive as a z you have so many drive let's say now to whom just give the path now you are directly linking so now the local path is optional if you don't give also now it takes here so now system one slash my share folder name what is my share folder name Sorry, home folder name home for which user optional name now apply now the drive letter will appear to the which user user one now let me log in with the user one now the user one has logged in I will be getting the drive. Let me get the icons for this user. Now, here, when you go to the computer, you will find a drive appearing. Yes, it is there. Now, just write anything as a user in that drive. So you open the drive. Now you can create your own data. Suppose I created this U1 file. Anything I return and I save. 
So immediately this data will be saved on the server hard disk. Let me check here. The server where it will be saved? In our home folder. So let me go to the home folder. I created the home folder in E drive with what name? Home. Can I see the U1 data? I can open the file also. This is the advantage with the home folder. Understood? Is it clear to everyone home folder concept? Okay, fine. Now, suppose if you want to do it for multiple users, how to do it? Then go to the users console, that is ADUC console. I want to do this as host to this user. So select this user, both of them for multiple users. Right click properties, then here profile, then the network folder. So, here connect here what? Right. Someone, my home folder name. And instead of writing the user name, I should write what? Percentile, user name, percentile. This is for the multiple users. So if you have two users, 10 users, 20 users, how many you select them, you like. So I hope it is clear for you now how to do the roaming profile and home folder for single user as well as for multiple users. For local user, you have to use this path and for home folder, you have to use this path. Remaining thing is same. In local profile, the user has to write the data in their personal set. But here, admin will give a single folder. In that, they have to write. Yeah, admin cannot see the data unless it becomes the owner of the file. Here, immediately you can see it. So which is a better now to compare the local roaming and home folder? Let me see what are your response. Which one you feel easier and better as an administrator? Any doubt anybody regarding the home folder or the lo uh, local drive, lo sorry, local profile or the roaming profile? Any doubt? I got something. Is it uh, my voice is not audible to everyone? Okay, fine. If you are not understood anything, just ask me. I'll repeat it once again. If any technical issue or voice may issue, tell me. I'll repeat it. So suppose now he is saying one user has written some data. Now, can you see other user can see the other data? Let me verify here. I log in with him. another user now. Like we have given the path to home. You two, you three. So I log in with you two. Now, let us see the drive is appearing for user not. Now for him, what is the subfolder? U2. For user one, U1. Now he created some data. This data is what? U2. But can you see the U1 data? No. It's not. That is available to the administrator, not to him. Yeah. You'll see his data. When you go to the yeah, drive, you can see his data, 
not the other state. Now, you come to the server. U2 data will be also saved with what name? U2. Come to the drive. The drive. Home folder. How many users are there? Now, till now, U3 has not written any data, so it is empty. But U2 have written something. It will be available. Admin can check like that. I'm clear to everyone now. Yes. Any doubt now? So you cannot see. For each user, one folder is created, subfolder. So you can see your data only. Only admin can see. How you seeing? See, once you log in with uh, that personal setting, once you log in, I log in as an administrator. Now here, I logged in at which user you can see, user two. Can you see the user one data? You see, go to the drive. This folder will be available, not the others folder. type of restriction you want user one cannot see the user two data remember see I selected multiple users no just now two and three users I log in with two so whether three is appearing to him no, it will not appear. It cannot. Each user, for each user, one subfolder is created. And their data will be saved in their subfolder. And we can see only their subfolder, not others. Are you clear with this? Will be saved in the home folder. Folder only admin can see. Inside the home folder, for each user, one subfolder is created. Each user can see their only subfolder, not others. Like here, I did. Is it okay now? You want to restrict admin. In home folder, sorry, in roaming folder, it is there, no restriction. But here, admin can become the owner and can see it here directly. You are not writing any personal data, it is the company data you are writing. So, admin have every privilege to see it. Want to do restriction? Some concept might be there. I'm not aware. I need to check it. But home folder, through home folder, admin can see the data. Is it okay now? So now tell me. We discussed how many types of profile today. Three. What are they? Local, roaming. In roaming, we discussed a simple roaming profile, and also the. It is a disadvantage in roaming profile. The user has to remember the those their personal settings, and the time issues also their time login logout time. So that you can overcome to some extent by using what home folder. So is it any doubt you have regarding these three concept: local folder, roaming, and home folder? Any doubt? Didn't get any reply. Do you have any doubts? Uh, no doubts. Okay. So thanks for your reply. Now, what is the time? 
we have some time see you will get every day recording but like many people are logged in from the online so even the application which we are using they are sending us the request that because not we many people throughout india they are not using mostly what is online application so it will be not available the recording on the same day you will get definitely but maybe the de delayed recording maybe the morning batch student by max tomorrow if possible it's uh, we get it recording from them directly from their cisco webex if we get it by evening we can send you but so suppose they told is one day they personally made a request to tell us for you one day so by tomorrow you will get it so anyhow i'm in touch with the whatsapp now my other colleagues are also replying they are also in the whatsapp so if you have any issue you can raise in the whatsapp or you have my number also personally you can talk to me so uh, what i am asking uh, is still some time is there shall we go for the drawback for the home folder or shall we do it tomorrow if you want i'll just go through the drawback of the home folder theory part i got one request tomorrow what are okay so yeah i need to ask the maximum people opinion because we live in a democratic country yes maximum people view should prevail so it is i'm getting mostly reply what tomorrow so shall we do it uh, the drawbacks of the home folder tomorrow and what is the solution for that tomorrow okay so i think maximum people is okay with the tomorrow okay i have no other issue uh, so please tell me do you have any doubts regarding today's session those people who are clear with the today's concept you can leave for the day take care tomorrow we'll discuss the drawback of home folder and how to overcome that with a service called fsrm that we'll discuss tomorrow once again requesting you take care stay safe okay. thanks everybody uh, those who are not on the WhatsApp, just uh, tell me. I'll note it down the name. Or can you contact me personally after the session? I'll give you my number so that it will be easier for me. Uh, just give me a second. I'll type it in my WhatsApp number. So whoever not got the practical step files, plus any doubt, you can contact me and those who are not there in the whatsapp group please call me i'll give my whatsapp number then give your number then i'll add it and if anybody did not receive the practical steps also please tell me on my this number just a second i'm writing my number one minute this is my whatsapp number you can call me anybody who have any issue yes uh, once the session is finished uh, Farhan you just call me you give me a whatsapp number I'll send you immediately practical steps does anybody have any other issue regarding today's session if you don't have the issue I'll close the session so that if you have doubt I'll stay there is no problem any doubts Shall I understand that there is no doubt? So can I close the session for today? So tomorrow we will continue our session same time uh, online. And our tomorrow topic will be what? What is the drawback with the home folder and how to overcome? Thank you everybody. Once again request you stay safe. Thanks everybody. Okay. Thank you everyone. Closing the session now.
those who have once again i'm telling you those who didn't get the practical step and those who are in the not in the whatsapp so please call me once the session is closed i'll take your uh, calls thanks everybody i'm closing the session now winding winding up the session thanks everybody.